Welcome to another one of Wolfire's Overgrowth tech demos. As you might have heard, Rabot is now dead. He got replaced by this unruly character because of the fact that our animation system is now linked up nicely to our scripting system. We've been trying to come up with a name for this guy, but per fan suggestion we're calling him Robert with two B's for now. Robert, say hi to everybody. Well, that's very polite of you. Wait, but how did you learn how to do that? You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? Oh wait, I have an idea about how this happened. Custom animations are easy. Let's grab the rabbit guard by clicking the load object button, then clicking the folder icon. Then we want to find the data folder. Then from there go into the objects folder. Click on IGF characters, and the IGF guard XML is what we want. Now click on the ground and Robert will appear. And we can right click drag him into position here. Double click him to select him, then push control R. We need to get Robert a skeleton. Click the load button, we go to the data folder, then the skeletons folder, then double click on basic attached guard joints. Push control A to pop open the animation editor. Now let's load an animation. Click the load button. Back to the data folder. Now we're looking for the animations folder. And let's double click on idle.anm. Those red diamonds are our keyframes. We can zoom out a little bit and adjust our view with the gray slider tool down there. I'll click to put the scrubber in the front of the animation. And now we can preview the idle animation to see what it normally looks like. That's pretty cool, but I want us to be able to work with our own custom animation, so we're going to actually modify the keyframes and make our own. By using the next keyframe button, which is just to the right of the play button, I can skip to every other keyframe and pull Robert's head down. Okay, let's back away and see what kind of monster we've created here by previewing our new animation. As expected, we now have something similar to the idle animation, but Robert's head bobs up and down. Let's click the Save As button, and making sure that we're in the Animations folder, let's call this thing Nod. Custom animation complete. Let's bring on some scripting. To make custom scripts, open a text editor, then find the Data, then Scripts folders, and then click on ASCare.AS. Now let's swap the idle animation with our Nod animation and watch the update. So that's cool, but maybe we only want Robert to nod when a key is pressed. So I'm going to put in a little extra code here. I've created a boolean variable called nod, which I want to be true when the end key is down, and false when the end key is not down. So you really think you're better than Rabot, don't you? You cocky Now in the update guy. function, I can use an if statement to check the nod variable to see whether we should play the nod animation or not. It's not the philosophically interesting question. How much of Robert's script can you change before he is no longer Robert? And when I save this new code, you can see the real-time update. Robert no longer nods as a default. And pressing N does indeed trigger the nod animation. We're not quite done yet though, because the transitions are pretty rough still. Look what happens when I spam N. He's been possessed by the devil. What we really need is a way to blend between the two animations so that all the transitions are smooth. Instead of using this simple binary system that only plays one animation or the other, it's time to start incorporating animation weights. We'll use the floating point variable not amount to store the transition state between idle and nodding. Not amount will start at zero. But as the user holds N, we want it to gradually increase to 1. Dude, we're kind of like in Robert's brain right now. Does that mean we're like giving him a lobotomy? Additionally, if the user is not holding N, we want not amount to decrease until it reaches 0. And now in the update function, we'll add both animations together at the same time all the time. It's just that we'll apply the not amount as a weight on the back to each one. While the not animation will be weighted by not amount directly, the idle animation should now be weighted by one minus not amount. Okay, let's take Robert's new brains out for a spin and see how the transitions look. Aw oh, yeah, that look silky smooth. Now even if I spam the end key, I still get pretty smooth transitions. So, Robert, did you think the Colts were going to win the Super Bowl? Yeah, me too. 
too much chit chat get on with it and to close i think robert wanted to show us one last thing this is an example of animation blending across a whole bunch of different animations wait robert what are you standing on Whoa, well, wait a second, Robert. You just did the YMCA on Rabot's grave? That's gross. That's really disgusting. Uh, can we stop the feed here? Let's, uh, let's kill the video. Remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Updates will be coming fast on the Wolfire blog. Also keep in mind that I am not an expert programmer, nor am I an expert animator. So if I can do this stuff, anybody can do it.